This is our third example uh, of a differential equation where the auxiliary equation for it, it's, its associated auxiliary equation, has repeated roots. Remember from our past videos that in general the solution is y equals e to the mx, and we can have some constant here too. And m is determined by we take the derivatives and we place it with m. This is a second order derivative. So we have m squared plus 8. This is a first order derivative, so we have m to the first, which is just m, plus 16. That's a zero order derivative, so we have m to the zero, which is just 1. So here's the auxiliary equation. Set it equal to zero. And we see, we can write it like this. zero and again we had the repeated root of m equals minus four so the procedure is very straightforward what you saw us do in the uh, previous videos y one equals some constant e m was minus four y two is some arbitrary constant e to the minus 4x, only here now we have an x, and this gives us two solutions to the equation. Um, in the very first example, we actually took this second solution, the one where the exponent here, e, is multiplied by x, took first and second derivatives and put it back in the equation and showed, yes, this is a valid solution. Um, you can do it if you want to for this example. Indeed it works. And the most general solution of course is this is a solution, this is a solution, any linear combination of them is also a solution. Back in our earlier videos when we were uh, working with the auxiliary equation, and we had distinct roots, we showed that first that a second order differential equation has two different solutions, and then we also demonstrated that if you take linear combinations of those two solutions, that also is a solution to the equation. So this would be the most general solution. And again, if you want, you can take first and second order derivatives of this, plug those expressions into here, and you see indeed it comes out to zero. So that's all we have to say about repeated roots. As you can see, it's all very straightforward. We're not trying to give a lot of theory as to why it works the way it does. We're just trying to go through the mechanics so that we can uh, start solving problems. But what we'll do in the next videos is consider differential equations uh, where we can take an auxiliary associated equation but when we solve the auxiliary equation, the roots m have complex values, and then we'll see what kind of solutions those will give us.